Today I wanted to shoot a video introducing you to a relatively new product on the market. Here in front of me today I have several different Ripper blades, but the new ones on the market I wanted to discuss are called Ripper clones. Now it just so happens that recently one of my viewers, uh, I believe on Facebook, uh, sent me a question expressing a little bit of frustration trying to navigate the Ripper blades site, trying to figure out what was the difference between the clones and the regular blades, uh, what was the difference between the Auroras and the Day Blades, etc., and how it was really hard to tell from the descriptions that exist online. Now, Gary Ripper releases a lot of his own release videos on Facebook, but if you miss those or if you're trying to browse the site, it is a little bit difficult to understand what it is that you're going to get. So, let me talk a little bit about the Ripper Blade clone, or the Ripper clones, versus the regular Ripper Blades. Now, first off, they have their own separate website. Uh, the Ripper clones are on ripperclones.net, I believe, and the Ripper Blades are on ripperblades.net. Now, despite the fact that you've got two different websites, these are all made by Gary Ripper, so they're all part of the same company. He's just separated them out onto two sites. I don't know if they're sites or subsites, but they've got completely different root addresses. So he separated them out to try to keep them, keep them apart from each other so that you know what you're getting. All right, so a standard Ripper blade. Okay, here we have a Spartan. Okay, I don't know if you can see the lightning pattern on this or not, but I will uh, hit it with a little bit of light here so that you can get a little better look at it. But a Spartan is one of their smaller blades. Looks a lot like the Sting Blade from uh, Lord of the Rings. Okay, now, you see all of this lightning that you get in here? Okay, on a standard Ripper blade, they've got lightning that goes all the way to the edge, all the way through the length of the blade. Let me show you a couple others. This is a Ripper Ninja Blade. Lightning, the entire length of the blade, starts off with thick strands of lightning that get into thin strands of lightning that move towards the edge. Uh, we've got a rather polished top. We've got a pretty fine ground blade edge here that illuminates. Again. And this is a custom that he built for me, my tentacle blade. You notice that we've got lightning, length of the blade, we've got an edge. Uh, another thing about the standard Ripper blades is he edges both sides of the blade, which gives you a little bit of depth in the blade so that if you're turning it, uh, you can see the lightning on the reverse side and the lightning on the front side, and they move kind of independently of them or of each other to give each other sort of a 3D effect. All right, let me see if I can translate some of that or get some close-up of, uh, of the 3D effect in the camera here. All right, now let's compare that to a Ripper clone. Here we have a Ripper clone that I'm gonna be shooting a video specifically of pretty, or, uh, pretty soon here. This is the Excalibur model, and this is actually the first time anybody's seeing this. A couple things you'll notice right off the top. There is a lot less lightning on a Ripper clone. You're dealing with some of the same blade stock. This Excalibur blade is a little bit of a different creature, but uh, here's their Katana clone. Okay, very similar to their Katana blade. Uh, here is their blade that they're calling the Needle. Okay, now you notice that on the clone, the lightning is a much more simple pattern and it comes out only part way. Okay, on the Excalibur, it comes out to here. On the Needle, it comes about two-thirds of the way out. Oh, set that on an aux button. All right, so it comes out about two-thirds of the way. Let me give you a close-up of one of the clone blades. So in addition to the clone blades having a more 
or having a lot less lightning on them. They also have a more simplistic lightning pattern. There isn't as much branching as there is on the, uh, the actual ripper blades, and the lightning only exists on one side. When I showed that to you the first time, you could kind of see a reflection of the lightning off the other side, so it had sort of a simulation of that doubled up effect. But when I turned it over so that you were looking through the unetched side, you just saw one strand of lightning for the second part of that. All right, so they're still hand etched and they still have lightning and they're exactly the same blade stock between the Ripper Blade version and the Ripper Clone version. The difference is the time that it takes Gary to make each one of these. Uh, the Ripper Clones, he just takes it and he puts the lightning up there and sends it out. Uh, the Ripper Blades, he takes his time, he sits down and he gets very intricate with it. Now, the reason that the Ripper clone blades exist, primarily, um, a lot of people, myself included, actually kind of like the more minimalistic look, especially on something as massive as this Excalibur. Okay, it gives you a long portion that you can actually see through. And lightning accents, as opposed to the full energy blade. So, there's a lot less lightning, and it's... It, Depending on your aesthetic, you might actually prefer that, but from a maker's standpoint, the Ripper Clone Blades are substantially easier for him to make, which means he can bring the price point down a little bit lower. Uh, that makes these things, the, uh, the Ripper Clones, whereas the Ripper Blades are usually around 100, 120, something in that neighborhood, the clones are closer to 60 to 80. So same blade stock, uh, a lot less lightning. There's also a rougher ground, a rougher grind rather, on the edge. So this is much more of a coarse grind that the clones have on the edge right here than if we go to the Ripper blade itself. And you can actually feel the difference. I don't know if you can even hear this, but there's a Ripper clone. I don't know if you can hear the friction on my fingers with that blade. We take the Ripper, or sorry, that was the Ripper blade. We take the Ripper clone and there's a lot more friction because we've got a coarser grind on that blade edge. All right, so that's pretty much it, the difference between the Ripper Clones and the Ripper Blades. It comes down to the detail of the lightning and the fact that the lightning is on one side and the polish of the, uh, or and how heavily polished they are. But you still get a really interesting blade and in all other respects, uh, the tang, the focusing mechanism, uh, they're all the same from Ripper Clone to Ripper Blade. So hopefully that has been of use, uh, and if it has, please join me back. I think the next video I'm going to give you a little bit of a closer look at this new one right here, and I'll see you then.